Hello again, I'm Sarawat and this is a video on a project that I had that is related to the topic of similar triangles so I hope that you all enjoy watching So for the experiment, I have to go out of my campus and stand in front of a coconut tree making sure that my position perfectly aligns with the tree itself As you can see my shadow and the shadow of the tree perfectly aligns each other. The main objective and goal of this project is to find the height of the coconut tree without measuring it with any devices. So with the help of my friend, we measured the distance from my position towards the tree and the distance from my position towards the end of my shadow. Here are some fun moments from the experiment. If you want to see more, please check out the behind the scenes video. I started drafting and figuring out how to solve the problem making sure that I don't miss out any important details and that my calculations were correct before concluding my final answer on this project. So now let's start solving the problem. As the sunlight shines, the coconut tree, me, and my shadow would create this sort of picture like this diagram. So from the coconut tree all the way to the end of my shadow, it will create triangle ABC, while me and my shadow alone would create triangle BDE that's located inside triangle ABC. So our main objective is to find the height of the coconut tree that is represented by x. But before we can solve for x, we must observe the relationship between both triangles first. So from the first glance, we can tell that both triangles are right triangles. So angle ACB and angle DEB would both be 90 degrees. So let's note that down. So let's continue to look next. So angle ABC would equal to angle DBE because they share the same vertex. Now, the next one is a bit tricky. So, as we know, both triangles are right triangles. So, DE and AC 
will be parallel to each other. If you extend both, you can see that they are really parallel as they don't seem to meet at any end. So in conclusion, we can say that angle BDE would equal to angle BAC as they are corresponding angles. Since all the angles of both triangles equal to each other, then we can conclude that both triangles are similar. And as we know, Similar triangles have their cor corresponding sides proportionate to one another. So we can say that BE over BC is equal to DE over AC equals to DD over AB. Now let's plug in the value of each of these sides. It's important to note that BC is made up of BE plus EC. Now it's time to solve for x. So let's plus b and ec together first. Now we can say we have 2 over 7.56 is equal to 1.73 over x. So, in order to get x, we're going to use the cross multiplication method. So, the numerator 2 will cross multiply with the denominator x and the denominator 7.56 would multiply with the numerator 1.73. So let's calculate them. Now it's time to isolate the x. So since 2 is multiplied by x, so we need to move 2 to the, other, to the other side. So it will become division. So the final answer should be 6.5394.
Now let's round it up. It should be 6.54 meter. So in conclusion, the tree is 6.54 meters tall. And that is how you solve this math problem.